it's Penny and the Professor. Here's Penny. Hi, everybody. It's getting closer and closer to Halloween, and we keep finding really new fun stories to read to you. So we found this great story about a mummy, and it's called The Littlest Mummy. And it's about a little mummy and her family, and all she wants to do is be part of the family dance. They have a special dance every Halloween, and she's working to be part of that. This story is written by Brandy Doherty and illustrated by Michelle Lisa Todd, and it's called The Littlest Mummy. Here we go. May was a mummy. She lived with her family in the spooky woods. There were many mummies in May's family, as you can see. It was almost Halloween and May was excited. This year, she was finally old enough to join her family's dance team at the big Halloween bash. She couldn't wait. She just had to learn their special mummy dance routine. Should be pretty easy, right? First, May's big brother, Mike, coached her on her moan. She took a deep breath and groaned. But it sounded like a whisper. Louder, May, Mike shouted. But May was groaning as loud as she could. Mike shook his head. You're not loud enough. Your voice is too little, he said. Maybe the twins can help. She'll have to go see if her twin siblings can help. May knocked on the door to her twin sister's bedroom. I need help with the dance, she told them. So Marnie and Melissa showed May how to shuffle. They shuffled slowly in rhythm, dragging their feet across the room. But when May tried, her little feet tangled in her wraps. She fell in a heap on the rug. You're way too little, Melissa said. So small, Marnie added. How sad. I don't think they're being very nice to their sister. May found her dad in the garage. He was building a special coffin. I can't do the mummy dance, May sighed. Nonsense, her dad boomed. Let's see your scary face. So May stood up extra tall. She put on her scariest face she could muster. And then her dad laughed. That's pretty cute for a scary face. May frowned. Do I have to do the mummy dance, she asked. May's dad wrapped her in a big hug. Not if you don't want to, but why don't you go see your mother? She might have an idea, he said. May's mom was in the basement. She was making extra tattered wraps for the big night. Your wraps are ready, May's mom told her. They'll be perfect for the dance. So May tried them on, but the wraps were too big for her tiny body. <sighs> she looked like a pile of toilet paper. <sighs> I'll have to make some adjustments, her mom said, looking worried. May wandered through the spooky woods. She was so sad. Can you show us your sad face, Penny? This is Penny's sad face. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. We just put her beak down like this. Pretty sad face, huh? That's pretty much how May looks. Sad face. She knew that there had to be something special she could do, even if she was little. May sat down on a log to think, and just then she saw something crashing through the trees. It was a witch! That's why Penny's wearing her cute little witch's hat. It was a witch, and she was just as little as May. The witch flew from her giant broom right down, or fell from her giant broom right in front of May. So she fell off her broom. I wonder if she's a good flyer. Hi, the witch said, brushing herself off. I'm Wilma. Hi, May said. Are you okay? Wilma sighed. I'm too little for the broom flying demonstration. May nodded. I'm too little for the mummy dance. Wilma smiled a big smile. Well, at least we have each other at the party. May smiled too. Soon, Halloween night arrived. All of the spooky woods was celebrating, but when it was time for May's family to start their dance, May stood in the corner and watched. She didn't want to dance. Wilma stood next to her, holding her broom. May's family was really good. The mummy dance finished and everyone clapped. Then the crowd was quiet, too quiet. Music started playing, but no one danced. Nobody knew what to do next. The mayor seemed nervous. 
May looked down at Wilma's broom. She had an idea. May led Wilma to the side of the dance floor. Let's do the limbo, she said. Wilma held one end of the broom and her black cat, Tiny, held the other end. May shimmied under the broomstick. She and Wilma laughed and so did the whole party. When it was Wilma's turn, a line started to form behind her. Everybody wanted to limbo. The Halloween party was a smashing success, all thanks to May and Wilma. May might have been too little for the mummy dance, but she wasn't too little to find her own special thing. And more important, she was not too little to make a friend. I hope you're making lots of friends and know that you're big enough to do big things, amazing things, phenomenal things, because you are special and you are perfect. Even when our hats fall off, right? Let's see if it fits me. What do you guys think? Is it me? All right, we'll see you guys next time. Have an amazing day and happy Halloween. Bye for now.